speed right away. Yeah, the Bavaria didn't set me in sales. The film goes off. Phoenix Maxi Maggie. Today, my plan is to do some uh, solo sailing and um, sail down through down to Unsola. So I have created a route uh, very close to to land. Wind is eight knots, maybe six knots. I will try to use my code zero. So looks like. Um, will be some downwind in the beginning so that's uh, that's nice one other boat here Bavaria going full speed with engine amazing if it's going south we furl out the coat soon and uh, we will give them a match with the engine I will Lot of speed right away. 11 knots. 10 now. Wind a bit too much on the side. Uh, I think I need to fur furling soon and take up. The uh, yeah, the Bavaria didn't set main sail, so they had no chance. I think I will switch to jeep soonish. We'll go through a pretty narrow space here. Um, never been here before, uh, but it looks okay on the plotter. Okay, a bit shifty wind there. I think it will be less soon. Here you can see it tacking between the small island. Looks like uh, some big radio telescope here. Looks pretty cool. Pretty nice beach here on this island. Here are we small here. Soon at the most southern point of Unsola, here, catching up with some other boats and then turning a bit north again and then I will see if I can find some anchoring um, at first, some racing to do here, they like wind. Vilken fin båt du har! Ja, jag ser det. Ett rev idag är lite väl knappt. Ja, jag vet. Jag har haft, jag har haft ett kursor jag själv. Ja. Nummer sju. 
Men ta, ta ut ta ut brevet och öka lite. I will give you some backstory of the X79. Uh, meanwhile, he's removing the reef. Uh, uh, the boat was designed and released in 1979 by X-Yacht in Denmark. Um, it was competing and beating uh, similar sized boats like Albin Express and uh, also Maxi Racer, but it uh, turned out to be uh, faster than them. I actually found an article about the very boat I had before. Here is my opinion what I think about the boat. It's very well balanced, super nice feeling when you steer it, according to me. Good seating, you can sit really nice when it's windy or not windy in the boat on the side, both sides. And it has very good performance overall. Cons. The runners, like the pirate here was talking about, he didn't want, he wanted to have a reef because it's so messy to use the runners. The keel, it's an iron keel, not uh, the best, or it's not modern, at least, uh, makes the boat a bit weak. And then it's a very thin mast uh, that uh, needs the runners to support to not fall down. But overall, a really nice boat, now it's over 40 years, 45 years old. But just a few years ago, the guys that originally built the first one found the first in UK. They brought they bought it, they brought it home to Denmark and they started uh, restoring it. New paint, new a lot of things, I guess. Uh, and also it looks like they corrected some of the things that I complained of. It looks like they made a new keel for it, I'm not sure, uh, but on the picture it looks like that. And also I've seen some photos on the new mast, carbon fiber mast, but I will not confirm that. Anyway, it looks amazing now. If you know more about that, please comment below. Anyhow, he got uh, pretty good speed when he removed the reef, also the wind increased a bit and was following me uh, all the way into Gottskär. Dinner time! It's carbonara, pasta carbonara. He got up some speed now, the X79, when he uh, removed the reef. Two reefs in this weather. Uh, that's a bit too, too little. I will take a yacht now. Here you can see the small coastal society of uh, Gottskär. I'm making a jibe here and going to the other side of Utholmen to find a place to put my anchor. Here comes the X-79. Maybe he will sail into the harbor. During the morning I bought some chain to my anchor. I usually don't have uh, too much anchor chain but uh, I wanted to test it out and it uh, hold up uh, very easily in this uh, super light wind. Here you can see some more of Gottskär and Utholmen. Sometimes I go here with my kids or my family and eat ice cream and have a walk on the island and sometimes have a swim. I was eating some more and then it was already time to go back.
the wind turn a bit uh, to west that means I have to probably go upwind and tacking my way back to my uh, marina in Valda. But the wind uh, increased a bit and I was doing really good speed upwind until I didn't. It turned out to be a very heavy current against me uh, between the mainland and the Male that I, I only did four, three knots uh, sometimes uh, upwind. I had to. I got some photos sent to me from my trimaran friend Martin that was on the island uh, this day when I was uh, fighting the current. The wind was that stable so I decided to send out uh, my drone to do some filming as well during sailing. Super stable wind, six, six knots, um, upwind, so I'm attacking back and forth here no sea at all very very small waves Denmark on the other side going for autopilot can handle it uh, perfectly. Uh, not too much to worry about if I don't fall in. A bit colder. Had to take on my jacket. It's always super sketchy to land on a boat, but uh, this time I was lucky again. Finally another boat uh, setting sail. This is the Maxi Phoenix, Maxi Magic. What do you say? Main is up, not only the furler. I came a little too, too fast here so it will be no match. And I don't think they will uh, catch up. Nice to see them uh, sailing. It's so, so great uh, wind condition. Maybe the best uh, ever for cruising. No waves, very unusual that it's so small waves. Ten hours later I'm back where I started. 42 nautical miles uh, in total. Hope you enjoyed the trip. I did for sure. Have a great day.